right. Well, we've been out here at, what's the name of this shelter? Sassafras. Sassafras. I'm a good old boy from Dearborn here, over here. Also known as Hot Tub. And then we got barbecue over here. Gourmet Woo! cooking over there. These guys got, got it together there. They got their stuff together. And a few other fellas, people around over here. But uh, we got 15 miles to go today. And uh, it's been wet. It's rainy. And uh, mostly showers most of the morning, but going to go for 15 and uh, see if this old man can get it done today. So uh, then we'll be knocking on the door of Fontana with a short day tomorrow if we can do 15 today. So we shall see. Y'all have a good, is it Friday, is it? Yeah, it's Friday. Friday. All right. All right. All right. Big weekend coming on. Big weekend. Big weekend into Fontana if we can get there. All right. See y'all down the trail. We are at the top of Chiabald, which is known as the having the best views south of the Smoky Mountains on the Appalachian Trail. So we're about at one mile, mile marker 145. So I wanted to share the view that I uh, earned this morning by hiking up here. So you ready? Okay. Uh, yep, that's our view. Ooh. Yeah, we are totally socked in. Get nothing. Get nothing. <laughs> well, some days we work hard and uh, we don't get what we wanted, but we know we still put the miles in and uh, we got that. Here's a little uh, survey marker right there. It says that we're at, oh, they didn't fill in the footage there, did they? Thanks, buddies. You put it all the way up there. Let us know it was a $250 fine for removing it, but you didn't put the elevation. And yeah, we are just about 51. 100 feet and we are back on the trail isn't it different kind of a blaze there's a blaze up there because it's all wet all the time up there but uh, it's so wet that they can't make the paint stick up here I guess I don't know anyway boorah we're on mile 145 heading up heading down Chia Bald so I gotta extend my poles about three inches on the way down, four inches on the way down. And uh, so they're a little longer to reach, help me be stabilized on the way down. So gotta pay attention to that. They call these balds, because a lot of times there's not a lot of trees at the top. And that's the case right over there. Kind of a bald spot where the wind hits it. You can kind of see it in one, two, three, four seconds. You can kind of see where it's up there. It's not all trees. So, but that's it. So, all right. Getting ready for the downhill and uh, gonna make it happen. So, mile and a half down, biggest height of the day. So, several more ups and downs. And I'm not sure not, but I think we got Jacob's Ladder today. Yeah, Jacob's Ladder. Yuck. There we go. Fontana Dam, 20 miles. That's our goal for tomorrow. Got the umbrella up. Poles are down, long distance poles. So a lot of people get out at the 150 mark to resupply, but I'm already well supplied and I've got a package to pick up in Fontana that'll get me halfway through the Smokies and then I'll resupply down in Gatlinburg, the big town, party town of Gatlinburg. So we'll see if we can connect with some friends that are hanging out there. Here's our views. Heading down, it's kind of a flat spot heading down. I figured I could film now. Lots of rhododendrons around here. Downhill stuff. Put the camera away. Get busy. Got some good music. Haven't turned this one on, but it's like pipe music that you'd hear in Nepal or something. And it's been on my playlist. I don't I only listen to music maybe every maybe every third day or so. And uh the song came on. It's the most Relaxing music, really nice to have that. So, come on over there. And the view is getting a little better. It's clearing up a little bit. I see some mountains in the background. And uh, it's a nice day. After I got rid of the rain, we're good. So, only major issues I got going on right now, or what are the top three? I always think, what are the threats that are threatening me? Um, back spasms. Still get back spasms. Usually later in the day, um, I get back spasms like around mile. 12 to 15 or so. Uh, they're already cramping up a little bit today. I got in like four or so. Um, 
so that doesn't feel good uh, but the so i'd say that's my weakest point and the other is just uh, knees uh just get tender going downhill late in the day um those are probably my two weakest points i would say um so you're always trying to be aware of that um some people got blisters some people you know had intestinal issues earlier um so all that seems to be working itself out pretty good now so that's the threat knees and back spasms so i might have to stretch that back out um if you want to leave me any comments what else they think would be a good idea for uh for back spasm um i'll be interested to see i'm willing to try anything i'm gonna get this thing done i need all the tools in the toolbox and that means your help appreciate it all right see you on down trail well, i'm getting close to stacoa gap and one of the things that we don't talk about we try not to say the words <laughs> trail magic but when you get closer you're always wondering you're hearing cars and then when you look down there and you can see they got a canopy set up your heart just gets kind of excited <laughs> it's like a little kid walking in the candy store <laughs> so yep who I was happy about that Stagoa Gap I've been here twice before and I've never gotten trail magic so it's kind of exciting to get some trail magic here and it, one of the most magical thing about Stagoa Gap is picnic tables. Nice picnic tables to sit down. Looks like somebody got a little excited for trail magic started running down that way to catch the switchbacks. That's a good way to bust a leg and end an AT trip. Huh. Yep, more than one has tried that. But we'll take the long way. Ooh, Roz got a Coca-Cola at the Trail Magic. From Hard Rock and Kim, thank you very much. <laughs> so yeah, look at all that. We're gonna have our first hot dog. On here, we're gonna have our first hot dog on the whole trail right there. Complete with mustard, ketchup, and Heinz sweet relish. Woo-hoo, you know, who Rod likes that. Well, that was some pretty good trail magic. We had a good time there talking with them folks over there. So, and uh, he's hoping to be on the trail a little bit later himself. So, uh, got my Coke, a couple hot dogs and a tangerine and some Lay's potato chip. And I'll tell you what, I'm probably gonna regret it, but it was good going down. Just like these mountains, they're good going down. One mile to Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> Snickers versus Jacob's Ladder. Yum. Here we go. Going down the trail now. We're within about a quarter mile of Jacob's Ladder, which is a very steep part of the trail. And it's known as Jacob's Ladder because it goes straight up like a ladder. And the first time I went on it, it made me pretty frustrated thinking, why didn't they make switchbacks? You've got plenty of room to make switchbacks. Why didn't you make switchbacks? And it bugged me for a long time. And later I realized that it's an easement between two pieces of property and they don't have permission to make a switchback or any improvements. So that's why this goes straight up the trail. All right, that makes sense. So time to get the rest of the snicker down. So when Jacob Slider's in front of me, which I'm pretty sure it's right up that steep bank over there. Um, that I can knock it out. See you at Jacob's Ladder. Zigzagging all the way down. It doesn't tell you how steep it is, but it's steep. Steeper than stairs. Steeper than stairs. I think we're at the end of it or all off of it. It's not steep anymore. You know how you can tell? I can breathe. <laughs> I would say Snickers wins over Jacob's Ladder. All right, so I'm just getting off the trail just for a quick second here. Going blue blazing. The side trail down to get some water. You got to get some water. I always try to get the places that are close or across the, the trail so I don't have to. So I'm constantly looking at gut hooks to make sure I don't have to uh, go off trail so this is like a hundred yards off trail and that's about the best it's going to be all day anyway so a little quick walk down here and get some water it's uh got to do this about three or four times a day filling up with the water so 
There we go. Nice and fresh look land of blues. And there's the little creek down there, so it's springing out there. Well worn trail down here. Got a pipe. Thank you, trail workers. So let's go right down there and get some water. Fill that up. That's actually the first time my foot has been wet the entire trail for 12 days. I was getting water just so I could show you the video. Oh well, I think I'll live. It'll dry out. We got six more miles to go. thousand foot peaks of the Smoky Mountain National Park. And that's where we're headed. We'll be closing on that. Knocking on the door. We'll be at the doorstep tomorrow. But right now we're still 15 miles away. Got my nap in though. Pulled out the hammock. Oh man. Took a good 22 minute nap. And the uh, hiker come up behind me again and and his dog Peppa came up, woke me up from my nap, but it felt great. Oh, there we go. There's a slightly unobstructed view of the Smoky Mountains. First one. Been waiting for that. Enjoy it. I worked for that. <laughs> yep, there goes the trail. Way down there. Way down there. Somehow the video doesn't show it as quite being up there, but you can see how steep that is. Whoever made these trails, it must have been some real hard work. That's all I got to say. Those logs all ready to fall down, down to the valley. Getting close, about a mile to go. And we'll have 15 in. On day 12. Alrighty, day 12 wrap up. We did 16.2 miles. We went from Sassafras, which is a shelter, which is at 16.2 six, uh, miles back. And now we're at Cable Gap Shelter. Nice little stream flowing through here, small little cabin. A nice couple from uh, Pennsylvania, or I'm sorry, Maryland, uh, Ashley and Phil. Uh, letting them keep the little little shelter way down there all by themselves there. That little shelter back there, if you can see. Um, letting them have the little love shack since it's not much of a shelter. Anyway, I'm going to be up here by myself. Washed up, cleaned up, got my water. Um, exciting. Good day. A little back spasm, um, but uh, I'm not taking anything for that yet. Um, just trying to work through it. Uh, but uh, really excited that tomorrow... I will be in Fontana, Fontana Village, Fontana Hilton. Fontana Hilton is actually just a super large shelter, uh, the largest on the AT, and the only one with showers on the entire AT. So we will check that out tomorrow. And I just wanted to say it was a great day, 16.2. That's, that's, that's strong, that's strong. So thank you for watching. Click on subscribe, and uh, any of your uh, hiking friends, uh, share this video. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you can, that'll help. Talk to you later. Bye.